over to meteorologist Hannah Gard now for a check of our Beyonce Day forecast. Yeah, I'd have to call in some help on that snake. Absolutely not. But on Beyonce Day today, we are seeing some coastal showers this morning. Most of those down in the far southern parts of Plaquemines Parish by the mouth of the river. We don't have too much lightning, but maybe you're hearing some rumbles of thunder down there inland. Not much happening. We're just seeing sunshine. That's because offshore, we're seeing a lot of shower and storm activity. We have a low pressure system that's swirling there. And we still have a stationary boundary lingering across the region. So we're seeing most of those storms staying in the coastal areas. And you can really see a well on visible satellite. We're looking for that counterclockwise swirl. And you can see that in the clouds. They're swirling counterclockwise. And we're seeing those storms popping up right where that low pressure feature is. And then on our side, we're pretty dry up to the north inland. So we're not seeing too much. There is a lot of cloud activity just to the east of us. Well up to the north. We also have this swirl that we're looking at near St. Louis. That's the big upper level low that's kind of driving what's now formed on the surface down near us. You can see this whole area is really a low pressure weakness in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So we're still going to see a chance for a couple of storms, especially tomorrow. Most of those stay along the coast. We could see some heavy rainfall, though, for those coastal areas, and we'll be watching for those above normal tides. So playing that out, today, really not too much. We might see a scattered shower inland, but it's mostly going to be along the coast that we see some storms popping up. Tomorrow, we still have that little spin feature right offshore, so we'll start to see some of those coastal storms popping up along the coast. So this is your first alert that that might be a problem for those coastal areas tomorrow. We're looking at heavy rainfall, maybe some gusty winds, and of course we could see that lightning. That will linger into the midday and afternoon hours. We could see a scattered storm or two, try to make it even farther up the south shore, but I think most of it will stay down to the south along the coast. Terrebonne and Lafourche could see some shower activity as well. Friday, things really start to dry out. It will mostly be offshore, whatever we do see, maybe a couple of scattered coastal showers. But by the weekend, we're really going to see things become a lot drier. So today, not too much in the way of rainfall. Tomorrow, I think, is the best bet for those coastal areas to maybe see one to two inches of rain. But then on those bullseyes where we see those heavier downpours, we could see four to five inches in those isolated areas. Wind forecast, though, with that low spinning right there, we are going to see things start to pick up. It will get pretty gusty, so we could see a foot above normal tides especially for those east-facing shores where we could have 25-mile-per-hour wind gusts. So we do have a small craft advisory that will be in effect until Thursday evening. But through tomorrow is going to be our best bet to see that rain. Friday, Saturday, maybe coastal showers, but it's going to be pretty dry, and especially into next week because we're going to see some high-pressure rebuilding. Right now we have that weakness over us still. By the time we get to the end of the weekend, High pressure all the way up through the parts of the Midwest and the Great Lakes region, and that will linger into the start of the week. Most of the low pressure is well over to our west. So our temperatures are still going to stay above normal, even though we might have some drier air bleeding in by the end of the weekend. We're staying in those upper 80s. We just don't have any fronts to drop us down. And Climate Prediction Center saying even through the middle of October, we're still going to stay pretty warm, and we'll have those highs above normal. We're supposed to be in the mid-80s now. In the tropics, we have Philippe. That's now forecast to maybe make its way into the Caribbean, but it is forecast to weaken. We also have a second system falling behind that with a high chance of development over the coming days. This is Philippe. Starting to look a little bit stronger today, but that is dealing with some high shear. So as it heads to the west, looking like it will be downgraded to a tropical depression eventually, but it could impact parts of the northern Caribbean as a tropical storm. The feature behind it could become RENA. That would be the next name system of the 2023 Atlantic season. For us, not worried about the tropics right now. We're just looking at those temperatures sitting above normal. We're in the upper 80s all the way through the seven-day forecast. Our best chance for storms is going to be tomorrow before we really dry out for next week. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Hannah. Well,